Let's enjoy our praise and worship to him this morning. I pray, Lord God, that our praise would be a joy to you. It would be a sweet sound in your ear. As we stand and as we worship this morning, if you have a need, if you have an ailment, or if you have a friend or someone that is in need, I just pray that you would whisper a prayer to the Father right now in Jesus' name. And just look to him for whatever you have need of. Before we get started, uh, we're not real big up here about glorifying men, right? We're all about glorifying God. But everybody look at Bev and say, happy birthday, Bev. Uh Happy birthday, Bev. Now listen, uh, it's no secret that I give everybody the same time up here and it's a hard time, all right? And that, that remains true with Bev. And I was just thinking this morning, I don't know, I, don't, I really don't know how many years, like I've been coming and singing 15 maybe-ish. And before I got here, she was here. <laughs> and here's the thing about that. People, you need to recognize when people have distinguishing characteristics that set them apart. And here's the thing about Bev. She's a team player. Things have changed. We sing different songs in different ways. She's here, and she's, she's willing and able to help, and she's been a constant. And I know that I speak for everyone in the room. My life and our community is better because you're in it, and we love you. <laughs> Happy birthday, too. Wow, I was worried when he had the mic and started in. I, th- I thought, oh, this is going to go south really fast. So <laughs> thank you, Scott. I appreciate that. Well, I welcome you in this place this morning, and uh, I am excited to be in in the house of the Lord. I was saying to David this morning, you know, a birthday is just another day, but I was really thinking about this. And what reminded me of this is when I heard Carly and CJ's baby crying over there. Duke had a hold of her, and that's probably why she was crying, but um, I was listening to that. There's a distinct difference between a new rebirth, like a, a, a baby, that is just so young that cries and then, you know, like a two or three year old, you know, just that type of thing. It turns into a whiny cry and then we get older and we're just like blah, 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 blah all the time. So what I'm saying about that is, is that I look at that though and I hear that sound and I think that there is hope and rebirth. So this morning, (laughs) God is in that that genre. He, he wants you to come to him with rebirth. Let's, let's do something new today. Let's give him something new today. A new kind of praise, a new kind of worship. But I think in all the times that there's so many bad things that are going on in the world, and we can talk about that. I'm, I'm not going to go there, but I will say this. There is hope in rebirth. And when we are reborn, it's just a whole new world for us, right? So sometimes we just have to need to change our perspective to it a little bit. And when I heard that cry this morning, I'm like, there's hope in rebirth. There's hope. I mean, what better thing than the, than the hope of having a child? I get so overwhelmed when I think about that and I think about all my grandchildren. And man, every time I see them, what do I do? I have a smile on my face. That's, that's good in and all itself. So we have hope in the Lord this morning and he loves you. So we're gonna just, we're just gonna talk about the Lord. This first song just says, it has to remind myself of who God is. And there's so many songs out right now that says, "I I know who I am because I know who he is, right? And so this morning, let's let's just uh, declare who God is this morning. Thank you, God, give you praise.
you're moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You're working in this place. I worship you. I worship you, cause you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are, well, you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here. You're touching every heart. I worship you. Oh, I worship
Church, sometimes you uh, you got to go through dark stuff and dark situations and dark circumstances. And here, here's the thing. I, I, I'm not really scared of snakes, but I don't go out of my way looking for them. And my, I, have, I have a favorite snake, and most of you know what it is. It's a dead one, okay? And this is a phrase you'll only hear in this part of the country or to the south or east, but I don't like to be in tall grass and short britches. I just don't. But if I do, and it's dark, what do I want to have? A light. And some of you are in a dark spot and you haven't asked for the light to come in. You haven't asked for the light to come in. You turn the light on, you, oh, there's a snake. I'll kill it or walk around it. It is scary to go through a dark spot in the dark, but you weren't called to be children of the dark. You were called to be children of the light. And that's because the Spirit of God that's living and dwelling in you. Turn the light on. Quit just carrying it around. Quit just carrying it around. Some of you right now, today, today, you're in a spot that you never imagined you'd ever be able to get to in life. And, and not, not just some title or some position, just a spot in life. You never thought it'd be capable. You, you would never thought, you'd think it never, it never happened. And the reason you're here is because God made a way for you. And guess what? He's continuing to do that. This, we just sang the, the lyric, just like the clock keeps ticking and ticking. Whether you're old, young, in between, sick, whatever, the clock keeps ticking. So this is what the Spirit of God's doing inside of you. It's working. He's working on your behalf. When you lay down at night and you maybe you're exhausted, the Spirit's not. The Spirit of God's working in you. He's strengthening you. He's guiding you. He's leading you. He never quits working. Never quits working. Lay down and you're exhausted. You're physically exhausted. Your spirit's strong. Realize that. Be aware of that. And turn the light on in Jesus' name. Amen.
Church, I just want to encourage you real quick this morning that we just sang a song that says more. So look at your neighbor and say more. God's not running short on any of his promises. He's not running short on peace, grace, forgiveness, healing, any of the fruits of the Spirit. The, it's not a short crop. And I know that I do this, so judge all you want. It's fine. Um, I believe that Christians today get co too caught up in, the, in the, it's never been like this before. The times we live in. Now listen, do you think it was tough during the Civil War? Do you think it was tough during the Revolutionary? Do, do, do you think, read the first a couple chapters of Jude. And they talk about, it, it sounds like today. All the things going on. And then there's a line in the NIV that says this. It asks you a question, the believer. It says, are you contending for your faith? Are you contending for your faith? Are you fighting for your faith? Because the word says this about your faith and my faith. Faith the size of a mustard seed. Faith the size of a mustard seed can do what? Move a mountain. So that tells me, the simple-minded guy, faith's pretty important. And faith's pretty powerful. So this is what we know about God. I just want more. We know he's faithful. Amen? He's faithful today, church. He's faithful today. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Hold on to that. Live in that. Walk in that. God doesn't have a short crop. He hasn't given you a half portion. Say this, everything. Everything you need for life and godliness is found where? In the knowledge of him. Are you running short this morning? Then I've got great news for you. You just don't know enough about God. And the information's available for all. Ushers, you come, Father God, we thank you for who you are. God, we love you this morning, God. Lord, we know that we live in crazy times. Lord, we're not ca ca uh, casting that out the window, Lord Jesus. But help the believers know this morning, Lord, I... I I feel this in my spirit, and I believe it, Lord, that there is this grassroots organization that is thick across this nation. Millions of people, millions and millions of people, and they're called believers. And the government can come out with all kinds of new rules, but there's no government law that can take my faith. There's no government law that can say, keep me from praying. God, I believe in you and we accept you and, and we know you're in charge, Father God. And I believe, Lord, I believe that you're not done with America. I believe that. And generations before us have fought maybe a different battle, but we were called to fight this one. And God, just like most of the battles throughout Scripture, and, and throughout time, this is what you need to win a battle, a willing participant. God, we know that you're faithful. We believe that, and we hold on to that this morning, God, in Jesus' name, and bless this offering. Amen. Thank you, Father. We know that, Father God, that you're here in this place today. And sometimes, God, we're, when things are going good and we're in our, our day worship, and I call it the night worship, that midnight worship when we're in those dark places, God. <laughs> because we know that when we have broken things in our life that you make them new, God. So I sing this song this morning, God, because we know that you can't lie. If, it, if you said it, it is finished.
tells us, Father, that we are, that we will be restored and we will be redeemed, God, by your blood. That we will be healed, Father God, in the name of Jesus. So we are confident this morning, God, that whatever it is that is going on, God, that you have the word for it, God, and when you said it, it is finished, Father. We love you, God, and in the name of Jesus, we come and we worship you and we praise you. Every praise and every, every worship, God, and every hallelujah belongs to you, Lord. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap this morning. You can be seated.